This particular machine utilizes a combination of the power line and solution line drives. Um, they were able to tap into a 455 horsepower spindle motor on a chassis format. The advantage of this particular drive family, the previous solution that they were using had to use a number of drives, one for the regeneration side, one for the generation side. This particular unit in one um, drive gives you the ability to do the full line regeneration back to the grid and do the power matching. So it was a simplification of the existing um, solution that they're using, uh, cost reduction, and also the ability to use drive click to bring the drive data directly into the control. Kai, can you tell us a little bit about how the customer approached you and what some of the initial design challenges were? Yeah, the uh, customer was looking for somebody who could manufacture a machine that could uh, have two rotating spindles above and below each other and have the ability to turn the upper axis at a 45 degree angle. Uh, nobody else in the market was able to supply this at the time, but uh, they were, found us through uh, the internet, through other customers, through research. And, asked us to supply them with the machine and we told them we could do it, we could get it. What aspects of their design uh, criteria were the most difficult for you to overcome? Uh, mostly the forces they were looking to get. Uh, they wanted a high amount of force and to be able to articulate the, the, the axes. Axi, um, with their research, the cold forming, the material they input into the machine is all cold, nothing's preheated, so it requires a lot of force. And what they want to find is the grain structures and how strength and durability of the material increases during that, the process. And how long was the total design phase of the project? Uh, the design, design phase took about a year, uh, going back and forth between us and, and the customer. Uh, initial designs, reviews, uh, sending them files, receiving files, a couple of visits here and there. And Julio, I'd like to ask you just a couple of questions about the controls on the mission. Have you had much experience working with Siemens in the past? Yes, actually we uh, deal with a lot of Siemens uh, control panels. Every uh, machine that we build actually is utilizes Siemens. Uh, I've had over two years experience uh, with Siemens and I think it's a great uh, platform.